Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making this really, really interesting modelling piece here. So nothing too advanced for us. Um, let me just get it up for you. We're going to be making the typical low poly donut shop. So this is the, the cool stuff we'll be making today. Very simple, low poly, simple, simple donut shot. Okay, so to do this, we're going to be using Blender, of course, and that's um, all we're going to be doing. So that's the, here's the actual render. I just did some color correction in Photoshop, but we're not going to cover that today. We're just going to cover the modeling, and um, so I've got to give credit where credit's due, and the inspiration um, for this piece was um, Michael Van Denberg. 30 day isometric renders challenge obviously his donut shop here was the inspiration for this week's tutorial so got to give credit where credit is due um, and you obviously can see some re resemblance between his and mine but anyway so let's open up blender so this is the uh, the file that we've got here I know really epic anyway so let's get started and I'm only going to cover the modeling, not even the materials. Materials are all up to you. So, it's going to let's reload this start file. So we've got our cube, and that's really all we need to start off with. Um, let's go into orthographic view and front, and we're going to simply um, enter edit mode, wireframe mode, select the top using B, and expand like that. Something like that. Now, of course, we don't want it square, so we need to scale on the y axis, and then it's quite nice. Let's push it up, up, up above the line there. Okay, it's looking good. Next step is we're probably going to um do the top. So to do the top, I'm going to add a cube. We're simply literally going to flatten a piece like that and scale. There we go, looking nice that um roof there. Uh, I think I might actually make it a bit thicker. It's looking a bit too thin. That's about right. Okay, so let's do the windows now. So let's go into front view and um, subdivide this. And then we're going to go into face select mode, and we want to hit C on our keyboard, and we're selecting all of those. Both sides, hit E, and we'll just, oh no, not both sides, sorry, just one side at a time. E, and it screwed them in. There we go, E, screwed them in. And um, we'll be doing the back as well. So for the back I just did quite a bit of window. Something. Something like that. And let's do the door. And what I did to do the door, I selected all those I hit E to extrude and then I rotated it on the uh, Y axis on no, X axis pushed it forward 
so it's almost flat like so and uh, that looks pretty good and I also added a uh, slight window so I selected where the window is going to be obviously that's on the door so I selected the door and then I subdivided that and then I um, selected there he took screwed done that's that um, that's the main building um, modeled so oh mustn't forget um, adding your icosphere for the in very important positioning of the door handle because you know you've always got to have your door handle otherwise it's not a door otherwise it's just a funny looking window okay door handles very important anyway so now we're going to model our donut so we're going to get the uh, mesh torus i don't think we've ever used the torus on the uh, channel but the way i made it nice and fat was i added a uh, displace modifier new and i pushed up that mid level uh, looking in nice donut shape then I scaled it of course on the x-axis and then Z something like that so it's on like a cool angle something like that to position it and let's just lift it off the ground add a if you add a cube shift Scale, Shift Z. these on the z-axis so they actually look like they fit that looks pretty good I have to say and what I'm gonna do is I'm just literally going to rotate it a bit this would actually make a nice animation Something I could probably work on. Actually, I'll leave it like that. That looks nice. And uh, we also, with our um, donut, I added a decimate and we just decimated so it looks a bit more low poly. And um, the rest of the work is literally just materials. So, um, I don't think we need to cover anything else. Um, actually, we'll cover materials. We'll do that quickly. So, I used, we'll do the main body first. So, let's add a, make sure in cycles, use nodes. We'll call this main. And I simply gave it quite a light, yeah, something like that. And then I entered edit mode and I simply selected the the last the bottom two um bottom two faces and then I gave them the stripe material which was more of a darker brown it's a bit too dark something like that
the doorknob. Just give that. Just give that grey. Something like that. These pillars, I'm going to give a white. The roof, I'll give the stripe colour. The donut, I'm going to make a donut colour. Well, and that's a very, very light brown, something like that. And for the icing on the donut, this probably is the most time consuming part in this modeling process, but it's okay. What I did is I, um, scroll up a bit. I went around selecting these three on the torus. Then I got a smaller brush holding shift and I extruded, ex excluded all the ones I didn't want. Um, so that, and then I gave them a new material, icing, and of course I gave it like, pink. And in fact, good idea of thinking of it now, I think I'm just going to extrude it out a tiny bit. And um, then we're going to rotate it on the z-axis 180 degrees. Still, there we go. Let's do the windows now. To do the windows, nothing fancy, just a diffuse yucky gray, yucky blue, something like that. No, oh, it's a bit too, yeah, something like that. And well. Again, same thing. Went around assigning Pretty sloppy work, but looks kind of good. And uh, that's how I did it. And of course, the plane. It's just a glossy with um, a bit of bit of roughness. And um, the camera was positioned something like in orthographic. There we go. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed.